people, you can understand the degree of skepticism. Mm -hmm. So what we need is we need accelerators, ways in which to get somebody feeling better as fast as possible because the feeling better gives you a, a, a hope and an internal motivation to keep going, to keep staying the course, to do what you have to do. So what, I, what those are called are natural catalysts. Mother Nature has given us compounds that we can take from plants or from certain nutrients that you can utilize that are designed specifically, and this is important, Cassie, specifically to look at what those big hormones are doing, how they are creating the stressful problem, and you can utilize those natural catalysts to facilitate the balancing of those hormones, the healing of your metabolism, the um, the, the, the reviving your brain chemistry because those feel-good chemicals in your brain are affected as well and that's what causes the physical, mental, and emotional symptoms. So we can give you things that can speed up and accelerate the healing and the recovery so you start feeling better. If you just did it with removing the sugar and removing the stress, you're going to feel better, believe me, it's gonna, not going to take long. But if you combine that with these natural catalysts that accelerate this, you're going to feel really good, really fast, and your motivation is going to be skyrocketing. That's what we're looking for and that's what we need. So that's two. Okay. The third thing is what, what I call coaching and support. Here's something that every woman wants, and I would love to be able to give it to them because they've asked me this thousands of times because I've had many thousands of conversations with them. Don, Look, I understand what you're saying. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Write it on a three by five card and give it to me and I'll do it. Just tell me step what to do. Step. All right. I've probably done that hundreds of times and guess what? Guess what my success rate is? Zero. <laughs> you people will not do something if you just give them the magic wand because there's no internal motivation or no re compelling reason for them to do it. What you've done is you've just quelled their immediate frustration by going, well, here, here's what you do. Then they look at it and guess what? Five minutes later, they're back to their old life and they couldn't even, don't even remember what you just did. I don't do that. No, if you ask me to just tell you what to do, here's what I'm going to tell you. Number one, you need to learn. You don't need a PhD in this, but you need to learn enough about your mind and your body to get yourself in a place where you're clear that the steps that you're about to take are filling. The steps that you're about to take feel inevitable to you. Because one of the problems with people not following through is from the very beginning, they don't believe in the process. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to say, look, I will give you an inevitable process that you can believe in, but you gotta bring that desire and that commitment to it. And getting someone to initially up front get excited about something is really the goal. So coaching and support is the third thing. And that's what, what, what I really believe it's almost a must do. Even though everyone would like me to just say, all right, here's what you gotta do, go do it. I can guarantee you it's, a, it's doomed to failure unless you engage enough to where I can continuously help and support you. I can help you, uh, lead you to the place where you can find information that you're looking for or because you always have to keep your brain believing and active and focused on what you're wanting to do. It, all this scattering around and all this you know, leading into a, uh, um, somebody else comes up and says, oh well, m my friend said that this diet works and now you're, you're over there. You got to focus. You got to focus. That's the most important thing. So coaching and support. And then the final thing is because I've had so many interactions with professionals, I know their language, I know what they speak, I know how they think, I know their psychology, I know how they <coughs> excuse me, want to interact with one another. So I want to help women to understand that there's a certain place where professional support, a doctor of some kind, maybe a psychologist or someone in the in profession, there's a place where they need that help. Typically it's for women who have gone through premenopause, they're reached menopause, their estrogen levels are really low, their mind and body has been battered over time, and they actually could use help from extra estrogen or progesterone, right? But I tell them first, if you don't do what you're supposed to do first up front, 
this stuff over here is going to be minimal in its effectiveness, right? So okay. we got to get you feeling better and getting on the right track to rebuild your hormonal system, your metabolism, your brain chemistry, your immunity, get you feeling better. And then when you, the, the right doctor that knows how to give the right amount, the right form of those hormones can be just, it can be dramatically beneficial to you. Younger women, they're not ready for hormone replacement of that. Now some people have, you know, some really significant um, deep set psychological things that might have happened to them in their youth, in their childhood, or you know, some some uh, uh, things that you know, a, a lot of people are, are holding on and harboring deep emotional things that are holding them back in life. Sometimes you need help in order to work through those type of traumatic issues. And so that's where, I, if, if I can see through the questioning and through the things that I um, that do the intake w with someone, that that might be, they have to work on that. Forgiveness is a, is a classic example. Just forgiving the people Absolutely. in your life. So number four is professional health. Okay. So the protocol then becomes, number one, simple yet powerful lifestyle adjustments. We tell you exactly what to do. The second thing is use natural catalysts to, to accelerate the healing process to get you engaged and get you feeling great. The third thing is coaching and support ongoing so that you stay the course and focus. And the fourth thing is if you need professional help, we're going to find that for you. We're going to help you to understand that. That, Cassie, is the inevitability protocol. You just have to look at those four things. You just have to do those four things the right way for the right reasons. And then I can tell you that the results become inevitable.